you know what? When one bullet doesn't do a lot, just use more. Look at. Let's use this. They topped up. Oh. You got it? But Pavati, you're hitting a box. Yeah, get some. Oh, careful. Oh. Pavati, you okay? Bloody hell. Right. Assault rifles, good for robots. Oh, I probably could have shot that. And damaged these somehow. Oh. What is a scientist doing back here? Is there more? What happened here? Did the robots turn on the inhabitants? How do I... Here. Yeah. A grenade launcher. Why does physical blast damage that bits can buy? I mean, I'm not using my melee weapon. Oh, hello. A bolter pistol. Small lightweight pistol that makes you feel like a big shot who can fire a big shot. Well, that's an energy weapon. Oh, and I sold all my... Oh, no, I do have an energy cell still. Ooh, what's this? That was quick. I know. So what is this? Where... There, right. So I don't shoot this in your direction. Oh. Right, okay. This might be useful to have. And it looks stylish. Self-patching. Stores a set of self-repairing materials and reduces the rate at which the armor deteriorates. Oh, interesting. So, did the marauders kill all the scientists? Vending machine dis- Oh! Uh, this is like the one that you played with, right? A hacking skill of 20 high allows you to sell, which I have. Restricted items on a vendor can only be purchased when you have high enough reputation with the associated faction. And this is a Spaces Choice faction, right? Now... What weapons do you have? Not a whole lot. Do have the Trooper armor, though. How much is that? Oh, buy for 400 bits. I see now. That's 100 bits. Uh, oil. Liquid Toxin Absorber. Also removes earwax. Now with activated charcoal. Why is charcoal spelt weirdly? Right. Cell. And the vending machines do the jingle. I mean, the vending machines doing the jingle isn't as offensive as... Well, I say offensive. Offensive to me. To my ears. As having all your employees do it. Can I disable the... Oh. Yeah, I'm back to wondering what happened here now. There's a lot of bullet holes. Uh, dis... Well, let's view the recent logs. Security logs inaccessible. In keeping with Space's Choice Company policy, all security logs have been terminated in the event of a major emergency, catastrophic event, or security breach. Of course, you want the security logs to be destroyed in the event of a security breach so you can't tell what happened. Attention! Scheduled security updates at this Spacer's Choice facility are critically overdue. 
your last scheduled security update occurred on error date not found. If you are a member of the Spaces Choice security detail assigned to this location, please turn in your identification for immediate reprimand. Failure to do so may result in an immediate reprimand. I mean, I probably should leave the security fences on. Right? Because... I mean, at least they're a deterrent for the Marauders. I did just destroy all the other deterrents for Marauders. Speaking of, we're probably not done... Got it. Heads down. Yep. Thank you. Oh, it's no better in here. The control room should be off to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. Yes. Off to the right, you mean through here? Right. We're probably gonna have to fight. Oh! Ow! Careful! Oh, you fool! Why? Right. Oh, maybe it was my fault. Careful! Why did you. Right. You need to fight more defensively. Get out of here. Pavati? Right. Pavati. Oh, I can give you better gear. Oh, you know what? Probably, probably you're going to have an idea if I give you better gear. Oh. Oh, I kind of like that hood. I feel it's kind of wasted on you, though. When it could look so good on me. How do I unequip? How do I, how do I unequip this from you? I can't. Maybe if I had something to replace it with. Can I unequip? I can unequip that. So why can't I unequip it from you? You don't have any perks available. Distance. Yeah, stay close to me. Play defensively. Or take things defensively. You know, you're not going to be much good if you're down all the time. And can we get rid of that hood? There we go. That's that's better. Now... Another bolt of pistol. We'll have it. How does this place even keep running on its own? There's got to only be so much automation, right? What do we got here? Well, let's unlock the... Let's look at messages first. Welcome, Jay Braden. Braden. Why does Braden ring a bell? Uh, from Space's Choice. To Braden. Subject, get it together. Miss Braden, this letter serves as an informal notification... Oh, wait... Was it Aurelia? Uh, what's her name? The lady at the camp, the deserters. Regardless, this letter says an informal notification of our company's displeasure toward your management of the Emerald Vale geothermal plant, for reasons related to exceeding your staff budget in your latest quarterly report. Please select five subordinates to be dismissed immediately. Additionally, Please contact our office to schedule your official reprimand at your earliest convenience. Failure to schedule your official reprimand will result in an official reprimand. Flawless logic. The Spaces Choice family would like to collectively remind you that working for Spaces Choice is not a right, but a privilege. From J. Braden. No, it won't be. I'm not th thinking of saying Braden because her name begins with an A. And this is Juno Braden. Uh, to the esteemed members of the Emerald Vale Development and Oversight Committee, I hope this letter finds you wealthy. After due consideration of your last letter, I have identified and terminated no fewer than five subordinates who were unable to provide sufficient justification for their ongoing employment. I would like to remind the Oversight Committee that while most of the Emerald Vale has failed to meet its production and output quotas, particularly our agricultural and fishing and canning departments, neither of which are anywhere close to profitable, 
the Emerald Vale geothermal plant remains committed to providing cheap and cost-efficient power to the entire region. Regards, Juno. Miss Braden, we have investigated the claims made against the profitability of the Greater Emerald Vale region. Our officers agree with you. Agriculture and fishing, canning, have experienced a steady decline while the Emerald Vale geothermal plant remains somewhat profitable. Our officers are currently investigating ways to implement additional cost-saving me measures, which will ultimately lead to a cleaner, or a leaner, more streamlined, more efficient geothermal power plant. Wait, so they just read that, that, oh, profit, let's get as much as we can out of it. Please be informed that the Spaces Choice Development and Oversight Office has taken, to a sig uh, taken a significant insurance policy against the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. The office would like to assure you that this insurance policy is a standard procedure. Do not attempt to interpret, understand, or otherwise exploit or extrapolate meaning from this decision. Oh, wait, did they... As a special courtesy, we have deployed a propriety tree, a team of engineering specialists to Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant. The team of specialists has been instructed to refit and upgrade the plant's population of auto mechanicals free of charge. So, Spaces Choice took out an insurance policy and then basically attacked their own plant for the money. That's what I'm reading out of this. This must be the manager's office. You know what? I don't think this is the manager's office. You're fast. Thank you. Is Oh wait. Oh, maybe this is the manager's office and I've just opened the right, okay, maybe this door was locked. Hello. Oh, her head's completely gone. I presume it's a her. I think it's a her. You tried the best, now try the rest. Error. Terminal memory purged. Maintenance logs purged. Personnel files purged. Company notifications purged. Messages purged. Personal memos. Purge incomplete. Two files available. Access file one. I had to borrow your copy of the Young Spaces Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Radio has been sputtering and I need the reference. I've returned a copy to the repair bay. Chaos everywhere. Mechanical's gone haywire. Gunfire. Hearing some screams. Oh law, I think. That's someone's leg. Would like to leave early for the day. Please deduct delinquency fee from my pay. Thank you. Proud to be a member of the Spaces Church. So even while this was all going on, they didn't just run. They had to put in a request to run. Because of the delinquency fee. Ah, oh, just... It's dreadful. So, where are we heading? Edgewater. Oh, that's a little bit on the nose. Okay, well, at least we know which part is for which. Transition. No, we don't want to leave. Dervish Mist. Need to see what else we can put in the inhaler. So, I think that's where I was supposed to go. So, what's down here? Oh. He came right at me. I had no choice. Why are there sparks coming out of the notice board? Oh no, the sparks are coming out of the light. Okay, that's fine. Take all of this. A light pistol. I think that's just the one I had at the beginning. Is this where I'm going to find the power regulators? Oh. Okay, this takes three to pick. I wish I could do that. An assault rifle and heavy ammo. I don't know if that was worth it. Ah, 
Pass seal. Okay, we're not getting through there. So this is the way. Uh, Pavati, you're a bit of an engineering whiz, aren't you? Any of this makes sense to you? Yeah, because you could really take the lead here. It'd be much appreciated. Right. So the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant, a Spaces Choice property. Plant status. This access report brought to you by Spaces Choice. Emerald Vale Geothermal operating at 22% efficiency. So this could easily supply both of them. Warning, structural damage detected. Please notify your designated supervisor. Okay, so maybe it's because it's just damage that it can't operate at 100%. I don't really know what to do. Because... The people at the botanical laboratory... They are staying there illegally. You know, they are, they're squatting, basically. But they have built a life for themselves. And, you know, they... It's kind of built on trust and respect. You know, and taking care of everyone. Whereas, the cannery is just actively exploiting people. And from all the other logs and terminals that I've read, they've got to pay... I mean, they've got to pay for their own graves. They rent their own graves. That's just diabolical. Look, something's got to change. And if I just cut off power to the botanical lab and send people back to the cannery, nothing is. Right. Safety failure is detected. High likelihood of a moderate to severe structural damage. Redirecting power is an irreversible procedure. Processing. Power redirection function has failed. Manual override required. Please activate all three electrical track switches. Is... Does that, any of that make sense to you, Pavati? Three switches. That'll be easy enough. Oh, good. I'm glad that makes sense to you, then. Because it does not really make sense to me. I don't know what I'm looking for. Has it unsealed the door down here, though? Nope, that's sealed. How do we... get that open? Oh, did I just not unlock the door? Personal files. S. Tanaka, Chief of Security. Log... 79. Chester Higgins again, that hull head. Found him fiddling around in one of the medic of one of the mechanicals. So I had to write him up for tampering with company property. Just in case, I'm recording this a couple of days from now and feeling bad for what I've done. Let me just remind myself that I've warned him before. He's always been a little crooked in the skull. He was working on some logic module. I confiscated it. Should be in my lockaway room for the foreseeable future. Log 87. Doesn't sit right with me. Company's been replacing our guards with auto-mechanicals. At this rate, I'm going to end up Chief of Security with no staff. Just a small army of mechanicals knocking about, guns pointed every which way. Company tells me they're safe, programmed to treat us humans like their own. People are liable to break down, but an automated or auto-mechanical never will. Except they, they will and they'll need repairing. I don't know. Doesn't sit right with me, but the company has never been wrong before, I suppose, apparently. Log 98. Worst has happened. Mechanical's gone crazy. Locked myself down here, just trying to gather my courage. Gonna make a mad dash for the control room. Might be able to shut the things down. We'll delete this entry if I ever, ever return. Access automated message 06. Greetings, Security Chief S. Tanaka is... This is an automated message initiated by Space's Choice Worker Safety Contingency Protocols. A security lockdown has been initiated. This is not a test. Your behavior during this lockdown will be reviewed during your quarterly audit. Anxiety is a common side effect of life-threatening situations engendered by security lockdowns. 
fight back against anxiety with ice cold bottle of zero G brew. Zero G oh my they're even advertising in their bloody automated emergency messages. Warning this facility is in a state of lockdown. Passcode required. Oh. Spacer Thompson. Welcome, R. Thompson. How did I know the password? Where did I find the password? Oh, maybe... Thompson must have given us the password so we can actually get in here to redirect the power. Unexpected. Unexpected what? Shh. Shh. Yeah, okay. Sorry, that, that was a bit loud. Right. Come on, let him have it. Pavati, you can shoot too. We can get past that armor, we're just going to have to shoot enough. Pavati, you're going to have to start shooting very soon. P Pav Pavati. It, it is working. Why, why didn't you help me? Yeah, huh? Uh, what? To, we'll talk later. Wait, we, we are kind of in the middle of something. I do want to ask about this, though. You know, surrounded by mechanical sentries, this isn't the time for that kind of conversation. Oh. Wait, what was this again? That's it, grenade launcher. Right, okay, this is... Oh. There we go. I have a lot of grenades for this thing. Oh, sugar. Oh. But Pavati, are you, why aren't you shooting? We're under attack. Have I taken a gun away from you or something? P Unable to hear it. Oh, Pavati! You're really trying my patience right now. Pavati! Oh my. What? What's wrong with you? Oh. Lip. Oh, well, I found one of the people. Oh no. Hi. Run, run. That's it. Oh, okay, so no, I don't actually have a lot of ammo for this. Right. Pavati, what was that? What what was that? You're not a pacifist, are you? No, I just got you on defensive. Oh, I see, because I put you on defensive and I didn't tell you to attack. No, go on aggressive. I just, if I get attacked, I just want you to get in there. Alright, no, that was that was my fault, Pavati. I kind of wish you picked up on my cues of saying, you know, what are you doing? Help me, but it's it's all right. I, I kinda of told you to do the wrong thing. I don't like the little scuttering. Oh yeah, there's a body, wasn't there? Back here, can I reach? There we are, hello. A gyro site. Increases weapon accuracy. Can I equip that to... Well, I won't be able to equip it here, will I? Okay. Oh, it's... Well, that's in pretty bad condition. So is this. This one's not, though. That only does 18 damage, and this one does... Four... Right, I need to keep my weapons in better gear. Right, I got a new assault rifle as well, didn't I? 28 over 18.
This one, this one's in perfect condition. There we are. All right, come on then, Pavati. And help me this time. We, we need to be on the same page about what happens when the fighting starts. So this is switch number one. There's two more. What'll happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the veil? They'll, well, they'll have to go back, won't they? And well, that's what Reeve Thompson's counting on. I don't really want to send them back, though. We're, we're not sending them back. We're going to send them back to the... Or rather, we're going to redirect the power from the cannery. Wait, hang on a minute. Why do we need to redirect power from the cannery? Oh, that's right. They just wanted, like, to apparently free them. Well, I don't really think that's a good idea either. Because they're, they're welcome to leave if they want. Hastily written note. Borrowed a copy of Young Space's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. I think it's volume three. I need something to read down in the pit. Much obliged. C. Higgins. Down in the pit. Repair bay, terminal access. Repair log 12. Corporate just sent a team of technicians to conduct a complete refit of all our mechanicals. Avery Sentry and Drone. It's not by a place to say, but doesn't this run contrary to Space's choice mission of being as cheap as possible? Just in case I'm audited, I would like to formally express how grateful I am to be a part of the Space's Choice family. Space's Choice is a leading brand of affordable sundry across the Halcyon. It's not the best choice, it's Space's Choice. That is not a good slogan. Mechanical Log 20. Just finished a routine maintenance of all our mechanical sentries. I found some strange modifications to their logic modules. I haven't had time to run a diagnostic, so I don't know what's being modified. All I know is that these modifications were introduced in our recent refit. The company went through the trouble of refitting every single mechanical in the plant not long ago. I'm guessing this was a, was the work of those visiting technicians. I filed a report, but my supervisor told me not to worry about it, so the company knew what they was doing, ordered me to forget about the alleged modifications to the logic modules. Decided to do a bit of sleuthing on my own. Got my hands on a logic module. Time to do a little bit of experimentation. So this was the guy that the chief engineer was... ...cautious about. Tampering with the logic modules, but... It's all the technician's fault, then. I'm not a good shot. Oh, are you friendly? Oh, good thing I'm not a good shot. Hello? Ah, oh, they're adorable. All good in here? No levers. Oh, I am not getting in there. Optional Chester's passcode. Right. Let's see if we can find a Chester then. Oh. Go away, Phantom. Higgins? Go away, Phantom. Hello? Down in the pit. Oh, this is the pit. What happened here? You're not real. You're not real. No, I am real. Phantom. Hello? Friendly? Friendly? Chester? Not, no, sorry, not Chester. Higgins? Oh, see, Higgins, this is Chester. You're not real. You're not real. I'm real. No, 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 just leave me alone. I, d I don't know where you are. Oh, there you are. Pavati, this might not go very well. He seems very on edge. How do we get further down? Uh, we could pick this lock. Oh. Oh. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Yeah, I was I was just wondering that. Let's see what this guy's got on him. Nothing. This is a weapon mod. Stolen mods. Blah blah blah. Jock tech oh jock weapons are built for the discerning warrior who wants a custom and personalized weapon, just like everyone else. Mods cannot be removed once they're used. Well, 
got two of these magazines. Oh, it mag to zap. It changes the weapon's damage to shock. I mean, I mainly use this against robots, so I presume electric is good against them. After installation, this mod cannot be removed unless you're in an engineering virtue or so. 150. I think that's just the max limit. What about sight? A gyro sight. Increases weapon accuracy. This modification uses an internal gyroscope to dampen movement, allowing more accurate shots. It reduces the spreads. Let's put it on. Oh, okay. Oh, I can spin it around quite a lot. It's quite a nice looking gun. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that sight. I mean, I'm going to have to get used to it. Ah, hello. Oh, hello. Nice. Much better. Oh, so much better. All right, well, let's get this pump flowing. If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? That's... Yeah, huh? It's a good question. Because people... The thing is, I don't want to enable Space's Choice, but it's not just Space's Choice that live there. You know, it's the people that live there that... Oh, oh sugar! Come on! Oh, sugar! Are you okay? There we go. Hey, you got a little scope on yours. And your pistol. That's nice. But yeah, I don't I don't really know what happens. Because people rely on Space's choice. They're gonna have to learn to be self-reliant, but right now I don't really think the life that they're living is much of a life at all. They're little more than slaves. Like Space's choice is making money off their employees. They're not really paying for them. Well, this is where I activated the pump, right? Or the, the lever. No, it was in here. Yeah, I, I'm just getting turned around very easily. What's below? Did we... Oh, this is the other side of the steam. Take all of this. Oh, is this another way around? Shut up the steam. Release valves. Okay, so there's... Oh, hello. Take all of that. Right, so there are other ways around. Sometimes. So I didn't need to hack that door necessarily. Yeah, I see. Right, let's keep going through here. This door's barricaded, is it? No? Ah, okay. Right, that's the door that was sealed when I first came in. And this... This is this door, okay. And that's the little sprat I nearly shot at. God, I must have given it the fright of its life. And this is the final lever. Last. I'm not sure what the right is. All I know is the decision's final. No, no, I... I don't think that's safe. No, I really don't think that's safe. There's lot Pavati, there's lava leaking out of one of those pipes. Right, 
Let's see if we can go talk to Chester. Or who I presume is Chester. No, wait, no, he's this way. Where was the pit? Here's the pit, right? How do we get to the bottom of here? No, I'm a... Higgins? Is it Higgins? Can I call you Higgins? Or Chester? Is it Chester? How do we... Ah, hello. Like, Higgins, I'm coming down. I need you not to shoot me. I know you must be very on edge. But I'm not a not, not an enemy. You're not real. No, I am real. I just just need you to to keep calm, and be cool about this. You're not real. No, no, I'm real. real. Uh, Shall I just? I'm gonna take that hammer away, just in case. Uh, hello. You're not real. You're not real. No, Get I'm away real. From me, Phantom. Shoot, scram. No, nope, it's okay. I'm real. Uh, I'm not trying to hurt you. I wasn't trying to startle you. Uh, most people don't see me coming. Why would I? I'm going to say it, but I don't really know why. I, you know, I wasn't trying to startle you. Most people? But I'm the only one left. No. Remember your first rule, Higgins. No arguing with the Phantoms. No, nope, no, it's fine. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Oh, you've been eating raw sprats. You're, you're not imagining me. I just, just slow down and tell me what's going on. Clearly, I mistook you for one of the phantoms of my imagination, which terrorized me on occasion. Yeah, clearly. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Okay, Chester definitely not insane Higgins. Odd name. Uh, how, how long have you been down here? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. You speak in third person these days as well, clearly. And what exactly is it that you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Chairman of the Board. Sisty Pig Tycoon. Oh. Oh, okay, no, I think you're just... I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Okay, no, you're a simple engineer in this plant. I... What happened to this place? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. It's about what I... discovered. That's... And how weren't you killed? I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. You... when you... Well, don't sound too disappointed. So you've been down here the whole time? You've been eating sprats? Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. I, I was gonna say you didn't try to leave, but you have been surrounded by these mechanicals the whole time. Well, you ate sprats, didn't you? I know I, you. We've kind of come to that conclusion. You, you said so yourself. Braised, boiled, charred, skewered. Sprats are good eating, friend. Chock full of brain food. I don't know if the sprats you've been eating are necessarily healthy. But then again, you have been on your own, surrounded by mechanicals. That's probably the pressure and the stress has sent you insane. But you said you're an engineer. What exactly did you work on the the plans? I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. I've been there. Um, well, if you works on those mechanicals, you gotta know a way to stop them. Do you? Do you know a way to stop them? Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding irons. I think I did destroy them all. But I can deal with the mechanicals. I made it this far. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. Uh-huh. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Okay, mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic module, and clearly somebody's tampered with it. Who? Well, I kind of know, or, you know, I figure it's probably the, uh... 
engineering team they sent that tampered with it, but... It wasn't you who tampered with it, was it? Clearly. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. A little bit, I dabble. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, now that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Uh, is there anything else that we can talk about? The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Oh, sprats. Okay. How have you been surviving all this time? How did they not come down here to check? Is it the ladders? Can they not do ladders? Jimmy'd open the vending machines. Oh, no, we that have talked about a this. couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. Yeah, the sprats. I, I, I get it. I, I should go. You take care. What's this? Antibiotics creme. I'll just, I'll just, you don't mind if I pinch any of this. Mechanical Guide to Engineering Volume 3. You, you don't mind me taking this. Well, I don't know if we did destroy all the auto mechanicals. I have a feeling we did. It was very satisfying when I upgraded that magazine to fire, you know, shock rounds. But let's go see what we can do with the targeting. If we can set it up so that any remaining auto mechanicals attack spaces choice personnel on site, maybe? Would that be a good idea? I don't remember where his terminal was. Hello. Caref right, okay. You need to be careful. There's somebody down there who would be happy to eat you. This is it. Uh, modified behavior. They're in guard mode. Target intruders. Auto mechanicals in this facility have been mandated to remain in guard mode. Any attempt to alter this setting is punishable by company law. Your infraction has been noted in your permanent record, see Higgins. Oh, okay. Oh, please see a supervisor to schedule a reprimand. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Auto mechanicals have been mandated to target intruders. That's another reprimand. Define intruders. Okay. All persons or entities not identified as property of space's choice. Oh. Define intruders as space's choice auto mechanicals. Modifications successfully forwarded to security. Please allow some time to process and remove all recently defined intruders. Yeah, that was surprisingly easy. I'm surprised there wasn't more fail safes. Now. I guess we go back to that control room that sent us on this little goose chase of levers. You keeping up? Yeah, you're keeping up. Once we do this, there's no going back. I I know you don't need to remind me, because it, it it's kind of pressuring hey, me. Hey, Mister. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Yeah. Do you understand what you're about to do? I'm about to ruin a lot of people's lives, I know. Oh, but... I want to hear your opinion, though. What do you think that's going to happen? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. But... I... I know. Oh, I know. If... if Space's Choice wasn't involved in that Saltuna town cannery, it'd probably be a, a much easier decision, because I would just you know, leave the power on at Edgewater. But 
Reed says Edgewater's going to die without workers and power. But the deserters, the deserters are a community too. But they are squatting illegally. But is it right to destroy what they've built? Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? I don't... I don't like... This Miss McDevitt. I really don't like her. I hated the way that she just dredged up your father as well. To try and sell her case. But Reed says Edgewater's is going to die without workers and power. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. You don't sound very happy. In Mr. Happy. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Oh, well... Thank you for sharing your opinion with me. I see your points. I don't know if I am ready to make a decision. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. No, I, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm glad you did. I like, you know, I like hearing from you. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Oh, well... You're welcome. You know, we are, we're a team right now, so... Redirect power. Continue. On the basis that this Miss McDevitt... She's... She's relishing in the fact that Edgewater is suffering. And she didn't have to say to us. You know, she didn't have to say, oh, why don't you turn off Edgewater's power instead? You know, and under the pretense of freeing all its citizens. But... They would become stranded here, wouldn't they? They, they wouldn't have any money coming in. And as much as I hate it, I think I'm just going to have to redirect power to Edgewater away from the lab. I know they've done something brilliant. I know they're self-sufficient. You know, they care for each other. They've got their own little community. But there's just so many more people in Edgewater. Oh, but then you, look, you think back on all the the logs that we've read about how, you know, they don't want to go for salt tuna light, but they do want to make, you know, the contents lighter. So we're going to use heavier cans and put less salt tuna in the can. Oh, why is this so difficult? I I'm gonna redirect power to this is, this is the thing. If I redirect power from Edgewater to the botanical lab, the issue isn't Edgewater. You know, that town isn't the source of all the problems. It's Space's choice. And if I hurt Edgewater, Space's choice isn't gonna care. So, the point that Miss McDevitt's trying to make is that they're not even going to notice it. So, on the basis that I can't hurt Space's choice in the way that I want to, I'm going to redirect power to Edgewater in order to help the people living there. 
are the people in the botanical lab. They made a choice to leave Edgewater. I can't make other people in Edgewater suffer for their decision. They're just going to have to either move on or come back. Oh, oh no, I fumbled the buttons. I fumbled the buttons. What have I done? No, I, I fumbled the buttons. Oh no. I don't know what I've done. I, I don't know why I've diverted the power. I fumbled the buttons. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I think I accidentally chose the lab. Oh no, please tell me I didn't. <laughs>